Hello and welcome to Thought for July the 24th. Our readings are 2 Samuel chapter 10, Jeremiah chapter 14 and Matthew chapter 25. And our thought is, Lord, when did we see thee? Today's 25th chapter of Matthew contains three challenging parables. These are the master's final ones. For just two days later, in chapter 26, verse 2, we read, He is arrested, and the major purpose of his mortal life on earth unfolds. The first parable highlights five virgins who were wise in taking a flask of oil with their lamps, we read in verse 4. In case the bridegroom was long in coming, they wanted to make sure they had enough, for you know neither the day nor the hour of his arrival, we read in verse 13. We are inclined to think that oil indicates the need for sufficient faith to endure so that we can be sure to see when it is plainly true to say, Here is the bridegroom. Come out and meet him. Verse 6. We read in chapter 24 verse 13 that the one who endures to the end will be saved. And if that is the end of our mortal life, we know that the dead in Christ will rise first, as first the Thessalonians chapter 4 and verse 16 uh, indicate, and we will meet him. The second parable is of servants being given various talents of money and the use or non-use the servants make of them. Those who have been faithful over a little, I will set you over much, we are told. Enter into the joy of your master, verse 23. He tells them on his return. The third parable is of the sheep and the goats, and the sheep are told, Come you, who are blessed by my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you welcomed me in. I was naked, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you visited me. I was in prison, and you came to me. Verses 34 to 36. The sheep are perplexed to understand when they did this. The king answers, Truly I say to you, as you did it to the one of the least of these my brothers or sisters, you did it to me. Verse 40. The goats are told, Depart from me, you cursed. There is no future for them. They ask the same question, Lord, when did we see thee? Verse 44. They are condemned for being self-centred like the one with the talent who did not put it to use. They had been pleased, no doubt, to be known as Christians, but had not really served their master in any meaningful way. The chapter ends, and these will go away into eternal punishment, but the righteous into eternal life. It does not indicate eternal torture. It means their life is at an end. They go into darkness, verse 30. And as they go, as was foretold by, of the Jewish leaders, there will be weeping when you see Abraham, Isaac and Jacob in the kingdom of God, but you yourselves cast out. Luke 13, verse 28. Are you among the sheep or the goats? There is no third choice. Oh, the inner joy of being among the sheep, both now and but even more then to enter into the joy of your master. Verse 23. Isn't this the God-given purpose of our lives? Well, thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's word, knowing that word to be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.